What's up dudes, Barry Big Plums Fishing here at Frencham Trout Fishery. It's the day before we turn July 2019, so right in the middle of summer, not the best time for trout fishing. And oddly, I'm actually recording my intro halfway through the day. I'm actually having my lunch break, um, which is the nutritious motorway donut, you know, everything a grown lad needs. Um, Feel nourished now, motorway donut for the win. So my tactic when fishing a summer water is very, very different. You need to put your fly right in front of your fish and you need to kind of see them take it. When they take a fly, it's in, out. It's that quick in the summer. They're not gonna hook themselves, a delicate presentation, and you've really got to get your casting right because there's so much food, they can really be picky about what they take. So um, even though this is midday and I'm recording my intro, let's see how we get on. Oh, if ever you had the time you want the camera, and after this fish for ages, hooked it there, it jumped up and flipped up halfway up the bank. I wish I had my camera on, it's always the bloody way. That was some amazing footage, guys. It's a nice fish, it. Literally hooked him there, dangled it in front of him. He's flip. He beached himself, I've never seen that happen before. Really, really cool. So I've seen this fish here, it sits in that spring, the last two times I've been here I've been after this fish it's probably about four pound or so but yeah that was absolutely acrobatic and amazing oh. always 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 amazing footage I had camera on I'm gutted you missed that guys that was so cool so I've got a black daddy long leg stalking bug on here see I've got my new Orvis floating line on my hardy it's one of those textured lines that's a lovely fish actually guys so I don't want to play him too long so I want to make sure it recovers but oh that was so cool so so cool yeah, there we go that's the biggest fish I've seen here in a little while Oh, that's a right lump. There we go. Sight fishing, that's not a bad fish either. And he's gone. Oh, can't win them all. Can't win them all. These are all visual takes, guys, pretty much. We've had about half a dozen fish, all stalked, 
Uh, I've been spotting them with my Costa glasses, um, very, very delicately, just plinking my fly in. Um, when I've been uh, kind of retrieving the fly, firing out, retrieving the fly, I've not had a lot of luck. I had one of the damsel, um, but mainly it's all been uh, precise casting and seeing the trout go fly in, fly out. You get that half a second just to strike and to uh, play that fish, you know, hook that fish. Um, it's just this time of year for our sport, you know, as great as Frenchman is, the water temperature is 18. It doesn't matter where you fish this time of year, it's very, very tough. Um, that's why I tend to do a lot of fly fishing for carp at this time of year. But um, it's definitely been a bit kinder this year. Last year was absolutely atrocious this time of year. Um, and yesterday it was 32 degrees, so that was definitely a day uh, not fly fishing. It's about 10 degrees cooler today, it's absolutely lovely. And uh, I'm here munching on my pepper army jerky. I'm out with my seven weight hardy um, HBX fly rod. I've got my Orvis uh, floating line. I've also got an intermediate, but um, it's all been precise casting. To be honest, I really could have got away with my five weight today. I'm just kind of playing around my hardy because it's my new rod. So um, I've been using that more for just to get some use out of it. But um, I do like to fish a five weight most of the time. And to be honest, in the summer, you're probably way better off using a five weight. You get better presentation. You don't splash the water. Uh, when you use a seven weight, you know, that's really for use in the windy winter sessions, you know, when you really got to frack out them lures. But uh, this time of year, don't do what I've done today. Go out your four or your five weight and you'll probably get more fish. A little bit spooky. A nicer fish at the back there. Couple of bigger ones. But, um, here we go, guys. It's like the old days. I've got a lovely rainbow here. Um, on a daddy long legs, my stalking bug. So although I didn't get the one down the bottom, um, here we go. So as always, my uh, head cam's run out. Um, I need to get better at charging it up, but this rainbow here attacked my stalking bug um, about four times, just kept going back to it. So I've got to somehow find a way to net this bad boy with one hand also holding my phone oh, look at that right in the top of his jaw oh hello there we go that's better look at that right in his jaw there we go that's the worst filming ever but I've got the fish got the fish and that is an absolutely beautiful fish as well look at that just splash me <laughs> just perfectly spotted not a nick anywhere and you've got my stalking daddy long legs there That's barbless straight out don't even have to get him out of the water oh there you go buddy off to fight another day didn't even get him out of the water that was superb. That was absolutely superb. He took that stalking bug three or four times. Whew, right there dudes. Not a bad session at all, considering we're uh, pretty much in the summer now. I had 10 fish, maybe as many as 12. I sometimes lose count, but um, pretty much all my fish were taken by accurate casting, little stalking bugs. Um, almost had a couple on the dry, but couldn't quite uh, hook into them. Missed a few, ended up in the tree, you know, normal sort of stuff, but um, for a summer session, very, very happy with that. So, uh, as always, it's a pleasure at Frenchham. Anyway, guys, it's Chad at Bow Big Plums Fishing. Catch you later.